Going to church has always been an important part of my life. My parents always took me to church, and even when we went out of town or went camping, uh, we always went to church every Sunday. And uh, so understanding who Jesus is and, and what he has done, I always had that information available to me. I had neighbors that had backyard Bible clubs, and there were uh, ordinary lay people speaking at our church and sharing, and that all was impactful. Until one time I was in a... Uh, a church membership class and the pastor uh, Jay Sachs said you know um, what you need to understand is that you need a savior you need someone to, to take away your sin and Jesus it would die for you if you were the only person in the world and that's how much God loves you and and how personal it is and when that information hit me it it, it became personal and on uh, a Sunday in 1974, I committed myself to following Christ and seeking after Him and, and following what He would have me do. And uh, then, uh, I was only 12, so then I was in public school. And, uh, and I had a lot of doubts. Uh, taking science class said, you know, uh, you know, the earth is older and the Bible wasn't true. And... and um, I took, uh, I took advanced literature classes and began to doubt uh, the truthfulness of my faith. I didn't quite give up. I didn't give up, but uh, I kind of altered my faith and became a bit of a, a what's called a deist, a person who believes that, uh, that God is real and everything, but he's not involved in your everyday life. And I also was reading Emerson and, and things like that and, um, and looked at the transcendentalist and... Um, I really had a lot of doubts, and, uh, and even though I knew that, that God had done something significant in my life, and I had a relationship with Jesus, but it wasn't really affecting me. It seemed like it was far away. As a young adult, I was in a Sunday school class, and uh, we were studying a book called Know Why You Believe by Paul Little, and he talked about the evidence and the truthfulness of the Bible, and, and he, he listed a whole number of, of uh, powerful evidences for the faith. And then he kept referencing other books. As I looked at the bibliography, I found out there's like a, a an encyclopedia of information on uh, evidence that proves the gospel, proves Jesus who he is. And that's called Evidence That Demands a Verdict by Josh McDowell and his son, Sean McDowell. And uh, that was revolutionary. I mean, I... You, you know, I I actually read through a lot of it, and it's almost like reading an encyclopedia of information. So there was a lot of evidence, and so I began to realize that there was a lot that said the Bible was really truthful. And then there was one other thing that happened that really made a difference, made my faith come alive. I was in another Bible study group with a bunch of, a bunch of folks, and uh, we were studying... Uh, the, a book called The Saving Life of Christ by an English, Royal English uh, officer named Major Ian Thomas. And uh, one of the things that was just really important in that is what it says in Romans chapter 5, verse 10. It said, while we were enemies of God, God reconciled us through the death of his son. And so much more are we being reconciled by his life. And... Uh, that is an amazing thing. It basically is saying that, yeah, Jesus died, he rose from the dead, and he is alive and at work. And I could experience that and follow his leading, and it was, it was real. And uh, what became my life verse was Philippians 2, verse 13. And, and the verse says, uh, for it is God who works in you, both to will and to do for his good pleasure. Meaning the Christian life is, is not about following rules, but allowing God to live in and through you and allowing him uh, to make you have the desire to do the right things and the ability to do the right things. And so I had the knowledge of knowing that this is all true. And then I had the experience of knowing that I could really follow God and know him, and have the, his leading. And uh, from there, what an amazing adventure. 
I was involved in campus ministry and met, met some of the best friends I've ever had. I, I have been involved in churches that have really tried their best to make a difference and try to seek to follow God. I've been involved in helping with missions around the world, and I've been uh, over to uh, churches in England and help with churches in, in Africa and Ghana. And uh, it is amazing the places you'll go when you're following, following Jesus. And uh, His way is amazing, and I'm not going to tell you it's perfect. I mean, I mean, it is perfect, his perfect plan, but I'm not going to tell you it's, it's always easy. I mean, there are times that there's a lot of hard things that I have been led through. But overall, the best life I could have ever possibly had has come from seeking to know God and to grow in him and to follow him. And he has led me to places I never thought I would go.